Alright boys and girls, tonight's free camp site brought to you by nature. We're in the Black Hills National Forest. Yeah. Alright, good morning party people. We are back from our... Uh, I think we did about 14 states and about uh, 4,200, 4,300 miles, something like that, trip with my dad. And uh, I'm filming this intro actually on the day, day after we got back. We were so tired last night, we just kind of passed out. But uh, um, I'm going to share the footage of us uh, just kind of kicking around, having fun, and uh, seeing all the sights across the U.S. You can tell it's a little bit heavier. All right, come on in. All right, so with 7,300 pounds, so the steer axle, which is the front, weighs 3580. Drive axle weighs 3720. K band. Yep. We're gonna be sitting in this for a while, boys. The party people, so this is our campsite last night near Tapico. And uh, I didn't film last night because we got in super late. We got here about 10 o'clock. And uh, there was a bunch of other free campsites that were just totally taken. It's pretty busy. So we found this one and uh, got a nice picnic table and a fire pit. Yeah, it was nice and cool out here. Bugs weren't too bad. And yeah, the one thing about camping in a van is um, you definitely need to carry something to sweep with a lot, especially if you're not going to be parking on the asphalt. But, uh, all right, so today we're headed to Kentucky to go see uh, Noah's Ark. So that should be awesome. Um, my dad's super excited too. He's always wanted to see that. So um, we're going to head up to Kentucky. Then after that, we're going to head north probably um, make our way to South Dakota and then out to Wyoming and uh, we'll keep you updated on the trip as it progresses. I think we can actually tour. One of these we can tour. We can go in. What is that? Is that a turkey or a pheasant? Right. Turkey right there beside the roof. See? Uh, I ain't see. Another guy, 129 photos. You getting a good action?
Yeah, we don't really know what five decades meant. Back then, a year wasn't, supposedly wasn't what a year is today. You know what I mean? Yeah. Could have been more, could have been less. He was 600 years old when the flood came. What's up party people? Welcome back to uh, Bill and Scott's epic adventure. We're on what, what day three? Yep. Day three and we are we just passed through Kentucky and we're going into we're in Ohio, Cincinnati right now and we're out on the riverfront as you can see. We're about to walk out on the bridge here, the Roebling Bridge. And uh, we got the the Bengals Stadium over there to our right, and Great American Stadium over to our left. I think this is the Ohio River. I believe. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. So yeah, check out that view. Just taking a morning walk before we uh, get on our drive to, I think we're gonna head through Indianapolis and over to Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And go from there, so I'll give you a couple of views of the cityscape and the bridge. And I'll talk to you next time I check in. Wow, check that out, boys. Now we know what Cincinnati thinks about those electric scooters. Got one there on the shore, one there in the water. Got some geese down there. I guess this is a draw bridge. side of the bridge. Try to zoom in there. It's a little bit foggy this morning. Better get some good breeze through there. Liberace when you need them. Yeah. <laughs> or uh, what's the other guy, Jerry Lee Lewis? Yeah, that's Didn't he play piano or did he play yeah, guitar? He hmm. Is that a mosquito? Would be if we were in uh, Raleigh, that's for sure.
feel like you're in the inside of the track, do you? No. <laughs> Alright, party people. We just arrived in Indianapolis. And when you're in Indianapolis, you gotta go visit the Speedway. So, uh, we're gonna go hit the museum and go check out the track. So, we'll check in once we get out on the track. Track picked up a nickname relating to its new racing surface. Today, people around the world know the Indianapolis Motor Speedway as the Brickyard. If Indy cars were on the track right now, you would see them speeding by at roughly 235 miles an hour. This would allow them to cover a football field in nine tenths of a second. For safety purposes, we keep our trams restrained to a more leisurely pace. You may have noticed a golf course on either side of us. Check out the headers on this thing. You reckon that would burn you? <laughs> Can't even put your arm out the window. Hell of a sidewall, isn't it? What time is it? Lunch time.
not quite as high as it was when they come out in the movie. No, corn will be five on it. Corn might need some nitrogen on it or something. This corn ain't being planted all that long. Yeah, growing season here is a little bit different than it is where we're at. Yeah, it's corn stalks from last year. Yeah. All right, party people, we out here at the Field of Dreams. Old man just walked out of the cornfield. We are about center field. Spin around. There's the baseball field. And got the old white farmhouse out there in the background. Lush and green out here. Friend boys and girls. Like I said, nothing else. Nothing runs into your car like a deer. Oh, oh, wrong deer. Yeah, I bet it was hard to see down in the, the road. one heck of a view of the prairie. We're at a uh, rest stop in South Dakota about 225 miles east of Rapid City. That is just beautiful. It is one hot day. It's 95 degrees and it's noontime. So last night we and uh, but it was super hot and so we're still traveling the um, prairie lands of South Dakota and you can see behind me I don't know if you can see that view but we're about to go after the scenic view here of the, of the prairie it's super windy this is at uh, a visitor center actually in uh, South Dakota we're on our way to Keystone where uh, Mount Rushmore is. Super windy, you can tell by the flag. That's the rest stop. So we just pulled in, we're gonna eat some lunch. And uh, then we'll hit back on the highway, but check out this view. Let's walk down there a little bit and see where it goes. Yeah, it looks like some kind of lake or river. All right, party people. We're gonna uh, we're gonna have some lunch, and then we're gonna check in either at Keystone. We're gonna try to hit Mount Rushmore today, or if uh, there's another scenic before we get there, we'll check in there. But uh, yeah, super hot, super windy, but uh, super beautiful view though. All right, so I can't see it. that's the Lewis and Clark Memorial Bridge down there. Case. All right, boys. We had to stop for a uh, restroom break. And we're out in the uh, prairie. It's 102 degrees, and 
nothing but flat land. I don't know if you can see that. As far as the eye can see, it's crazy. And we have another 126 miles to go on this highway. We just went on 100 already. stop and pick up a, a broom, a sweeper, and uh, yeah, it's front end is just bugged, windshield bugged. We'll check in in about another 100 miles. We should be near Keystone and Mount Rushmore. See you then. All right, party people, checking in back again. We just passed Buffalo Gap National Grasslands, and uh, they had this scenic overlook thing. Just kind of stop here. That is a good look at. So the Buffalo Gap National Grasslands is back that way, I guess. So I guess we're kind of peering out onto it. And it is nothing but grassland as far as you can see. left side over here you start to see some kind of terrain change going on over there so we're about I think we're about 120 miles away from uh... Cap it out of that. yes sir from right here. Party people, we made it to Mount Rushmore. It's actually not too bad. It's pretty cool up here. I'll give you some views. South Dakota, east to west, that was the longest road, straightest road, the most nothing, wheat fields, corn fields, I mean it was crazy, crazy heat, got to 100, what are you, 103 one time, 103 or 105, yeah, so it got pretty hot, <laughs> what's your thoughts on Mount Rushmore? I never said that. He said it all magnificent. Alright, party people, we're checking in. We're at Pactola Lake, just outside of Mount Rushmore. And uh, we're on our way to our camping spot for tonight. And just want to stop and give you this view. Pretty good view, huh? Kind of wet, though. All right, party people, checking in. Check out the camp campground for tonight. We are in the uh, 
Black Hills National Forest and we just found this meadow and we just pulled off into it and there's one other guy back here and just behind us and it's about 66 degrees now so it's perfect out here and then just behind us is a and there's a lot of holes out here. What are those holes for? I think it's already rained out here. It's already wet. Alright boys and girls, tonight's free camp site brought to you by nature. We're in the Black Hills National Forest. We have found ourselves in a couple of spot here on the stream. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to do it right here. And uh, hopefully it doesn't get too wet. If it starts to rain too much, we might have to make an emergency exit because I do not have four wheel drive and we are, we are in relatively. bumpy grass or bumpy road and uh, grass here so but it is like 66 degrees it's perfect weather and the views are amazing 